Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube. Today I'm excited to show you how I take a small closet and transform it into a space where I can work, film, edit, do my makeup, get dressed, just everything you can even think of, I can do it in this closet. It is the smallest closet that I have seen to date used for a beauty room. So stay tuned for more behind the scenes on how I do it. And hopefully this video will inspire you if you think that you can't use what you have to get what you want. There's levels to everything and I'm showing you how I'm starting out. So here we are inside of the closet and it is a very tight and cramped quarters as you can see. You can see how I have evolved this tiny space to be multi-purpose and multifunctional for everything that I need to do here. So beginning with my desk, this is an all white desk that I got from Ikea. And I really like this desk because I knew that I would need something small inside of this closet because it is such a cramped quarter. So as far as depth is concerned, this desk was the smallest desk that Ikea had. It fits along my closet wall quite perfectly. I like that it's all white, very sleek, very easy to clean. It has two drawers that I can store things in. This first drawer, I keep some of my makeup products. I have just these two little organizers that I got from the dollar store and I store some makeup in there. Here I have all concealers and color correctors, little foundation sample from Fenty Beauty, eyelid primer, uh, liquid contour, and LA Girl contour palette. I have all of my eye products here, whether it's eyelashes, eyebrows, or liquid eyeliner. I have blush here, highlight here, uh, my Fenty Beauty highlight. I have eyelash products here and an old CoverGirl eyeshadow palette. I think this is expired, so I should probably throw that out. Some more eyelashes here, some Morphe gels, uh, black for my eyeliner, and brown for my eyebrows. My first MAC eyeshadow. This was a gift from my sister, and I'm going to put it into the Z palette that I ordered. So that'll be my first shadow, single shadow that will go in my Z palette. I have some NYX liquid brush cleaner. I have some Morphe brush cleaner soap, my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in liquid and powder. I have some e.l.f. setting powder back here, an e.l.f. contour palette. I have my e.l.f. primer. I keep that right next to my foundation so that I don't forget to use it. I have some makeup removers. This one is for the eyes. This one is for the lips. I got some facial makeup removers, Burt Bees, Morphe. Then I have an e.l.f. brush cleaner need to clean it before the next use. In this one, I keep Q-tips, cotton balls, I keep some hair products in here, hair clips, hair ties, bobby pins, decorative bobby pins, little tools left over from my office drawer that I wasn't able to fit in there. So the next drawer over, I have my office supplies, all kinds of knickknacks and things that I use, stamps, paper clips, staples, tape, little calculator down here, um, an old Blackberry, post-it notes, index cards, a sewing kit because I like to stitch up holes in my clothes, nail kit that has different types of nails or small screws or things that I can use to hang things on the wall with. Some painter's tape back there, uh, an extra Apple mouse, some thank you cards down there, a little pill organizer that I'm gonna figure out something to use for, labels, sticky Velcro holders, envelopes, cards for the kids to learn with that I keep in here because I don't want them to lose or misplace them in their rooms. Just odds and ends that I can quickly find when I'm working. Moving right along on top of the desk, I've got 
just some water that I was drinking. I keep this crystal heart-shaped jewelry holder that was given to me. I keep studs and rings in this one and on this top here i keep long earrings that i'm not able to hang on my hanging jewelry organizers here i have beautiful dust decor that says blessed in copper inlaid in marble that was given to me as a gift by my mother and sister i have my mac computer that i do my editing on my rose gold beat headphones that i use sometimes when i'm editing my keypad, Apple mouse. Moving right along, I have a pink vase with some fake flowers from Ikea because I just want to add a little color to the room. I have this really cute jewelry organizer that I can hang all of my dangling earrings on. And then above that, I have a cute little DIY that I did that I will link below if you haven't seen. Just some wall art that says color outside of the lines. And I have all of my necklaces, bracelets, watches hanging from there, a few rings and more earrings. And I've got some lights hanging that really set the mood or the tone for the room when I turn off the lights and work at night. I have a cute little copper shaded basket that I hung off the wall that has a rose gold painted picture frame of a picture of me and my husband's feet when we were at the Sandals Resort in Jamaica for our honeymoon. I have a gold candle from Walmart that smells amazing. I don't plan to burn that anytime soon. The candles that I really like to burn are these $5 candles that smell amazing and I get those at HEB. The other items that I have on the desk, this vanity mirror. I have uh, some cute little baskets that I got from the dollar store. One of them I keep colored pencils in because I like to color. I keep my rose gold scissors there, a blending sponge sitting in a dollar holder that I got from shopmissa.com, some beautiful decor that my sister brought me back from Sydney, Australia. She travels all over the world singing, and when she goes to really amazing places, she tends to bring me back something, and so she brought that back, so I keep that there. And don't ask me why that microphone is there. I've had it since my music industry days. This is the first microphone that I ever bought so it holds a special place in my heart I keep that there I have another holder that I keep highlighters and colored markers I have my setting sprays back here elf and morphe I keep my favorite lip products in this guy I have some Milani mattes shopmissa.com AOA studios liquid lipsticks Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Kylie Cosmetics matte lipsticks with the lip pencils some lip gloss a little L'Oreal all of my favorite ones that I use mostly I have a little miss to misses that my best friend got me. I keep my face brushes in here I have another little holder that I got from the dollar store and I keep all of my eye brushes I also have some eyeliners there I have a facial tool by beauty spot I have a cute little mug that I use to wash my makeup brushes sitting on some rose gold candle toppers. I have a copper shaded fan that I use when it gets a little warm. But the good thing is that I do have a vent up there and so I do get air in here. It doesn't get too warm in case you were wondering. I have a small vanity mirror that lights up and it's magnifying on the other side. Here I've got some nail products, my favorite nail polishes. I keep some eyeshadow palettes, mainly Morphe, a little color pop, but the rest are all Morphe. I have a gold tower that I use to store office products like my printer scanner copier. On top of that, I keep an organizer that I got from the dollar store that's got some copper shaded paper clips, copper tape dispenser, and a copper stapler that I got from Amazon. I have a copper organizer that I got from Walmart that just stores important papers like bills and things like that. I have a calculator that I use to calculate finances down there. Right now, I've got some couponing things laid out on the printing tray because I'm 
just starting up couponing and I'm going to be vlogging that so stay tuned below that I keep my Bibles and journals my coloring book coloring is really relaxing for me and so I do do coloring every now and then so that's my adult coloring book the third tier holds laptops an extra keypad more beat headphones printing paper things that I need up top I keep all of my favorite shoes on this end I've got tennis shoes some Vans Michael Kors Adidas Jordans Nike New Balance Timberland polo boots some winter boots these are dancing boots my favorite brown heels which are really comfortable silver rose gold and black above that I keep my purses hanging along the wall and I have some on both sides here I keep just pretty packaging I have a thing about packaging and I think that makeup and Mac products have the best packaging I also keep uh, more makeup products I got this little organizer from Walmart in the last drawer I keep makeup tools some nail tools are in there I like this little guy here it is a hair removal tool you just take this little guy and you can use it to remove facial hair so I keep that in there here I keep more lip products lip scrubs lip glosses balms moisturizers anything to do with the lips there that I don't keep on my vanity here I keep some sponge blenders top of there I keep a jewelry holder that holds all other jewelry that I do not keep on my vanity or my wall and it's really cute because it has a picture of my dad and my brother on the top along this wall I keep all of my long hanging clothes dresses pantsuits jumpers maxi dresses long skirts across the room from that i keep all of my blouses and shirts sweaters hanging on the top tier i keep all of my pants skirts jeans jean jackets leggings tights shorts anything of that nature hangs there it's not color coded at this time because when I moved, I moved into a smaller closet. And as I was taking clothes off of the rack, I wasn't able to really keep everything color coded because I have a lot of clothes. Even though I've gotten rid of everything that I don't wear, I can see I have no space between hangers. As I eliminate clothes and obtain more room or get a bigger closet, I will go back to color coding because the closet that I came from actually was color coded and I miss that so much I think that color coding is not only very beautiful but very convenient so I do miss the color coding but for now this works for me I keep my long boots hanging from hangers on this shelf here on this shelf I keep big hats and baseball caps I have somewhat of a metal mannequin in this corner that I hang outfits from. Right now I have my favorite Jamaica dress on there. I actually got this dress in Jamaica on my honeymoon. I really love that dress. It's really, really comfortable. On this guy here, I got it from Ikea. It has several shelves and I keep t-shirts and workout gear on this shelf here. I really had to figure out something to do with my t-shirts because originally I kept them in my dresser drawers, but because my husband agreed to give me this closet as my own space, I had to figure out where to keep my t-shirts and workout clothes. And so this is the solution that I came up with. On this one here, I have more shirts that wouldn't fit on this end here hats gloves beanies socks i have some clutches here underwear scarves along the baseboards of the walls i keep shoes shoes and more shoes all the way behind here here is where i sit right now the chair is in this corner but i normally keep it where i am currently standing i have a cute little copper shade plated waist basket that i found at walmart i keep a stool right here that i use to get up top to get anything that i need that's up high right now i've got some hair and hygiene products sitting on it keep a hamper basket under my chair here i have a caboodle that i keep nail products in because i tend to do 
my own nails every now and then i'll go to the nail salon and get a mani pedi don't mind the louisville slugger i have an over the door hanger that i got from ross that holds uh, my favorite items in the back i've got some naughty lingerie i have my favorite t-shirt that i like to wear my favorite tank my favorite robe some onesies from fashion nova that i really like this is my favorite fashion nova onesie that i like to wear out it currently needs to be rolled with the lint roller i have my satin bonnet that i wear to bed i also have a brush that my sister got me when she was in london that i do use for dry brushing a towel and bathrobe behind that and then as you can see here i have some sequin fabric that's hanging over that that i just let down and this is what i currently use as my backdrop when i am filming this is the backdrop that you guys would all recognize from my videos up here i just keep some shoe boxes that i don't want to get rid of they're named brand like chanel dos and bana and prada i have a coach bag that's full of other lingerie items that i'm not able to keep in dresser drawers and then i have a basket that's full of swimsuits and cover-ups I have my hair dryer there that I use on my stool when I am doing my hair. And on my mirror here, if you're wondering why this black sticky Velcro is on my mirror, it's because when I am shooting with my iPhone, I simply place my iPhone here and it picks up the backdrop that I sent in front of when I am filming. And again, when I turn off the lights, I really love the ambiance that I get. Here there was an additional bracket that hung here that originally held more clothes, but I did take it off so that I could have this space for my vanity and my desk. And I'm actually going to use this wood backing for my vision board that I'm going to be doing and hanging there. I also keep a lamp in the corner there that kind of adds to the atmosphere of the room. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also leave your comments below on how you think I could further maximize space in this tiny closet. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.